Okay, everybody. Okay, I'm done with this case. I have had it. I've had enough. Um, it is no longer about Kylie it's all over the internet. It is about um, people like Upchurch running their mouth. The guy can't make up his mind. First, he says he swears that it's Mel and Zanime are in on this and they know where Kylie is. Ruin that girl's life. Next thing. Then he, he, he's digging, 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 can't find the answer, so he says, you know what, this is all fake. Then he comes out and he's like, oh, he's back on Zav Girl's channel, he's back on channel, he's talking about, oh, I'm sorry, I fell, you know, I fell down the rabbit hole, it's just there's, there's so many things that didn't connect and blah, 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 but I'm sorry, I know it's real, blah, blah, blah. And now he's back on the, oh, it's fake, her name is Callie, girl don't even look like her, but the problem is, is he's, just because he says something, he's got all these people believing that it's true. Listen, guy, just because you couldn't crack the case doesn't mean it's not real. He's changed his mind four times now, and he's ruining people's lives, and he's running his mouth, and he's got people out there that are just following him blindly. It's stupid. Use your own head. Think for yourself. That's what God gave you a brain for. Okay. Next thing. Um, everybody is giving me shit. Well, not everybody, but some people are giving me shit on YouTube in the comments talking about I cannot believe you would talk about her mom like that. Okay. If all these people, if her mom didn't act suspicious and do the things that she did, I would have no, I wouldn't be calling her out on anything. I wouldn't have a right to say anything. I wouldn't need to say anything. If Jagger wasn't out there running his mouth and if he wasn't so goddamn suspicious, I wouldn't be saying anything about him either. Sammy, Mags, everybody disappeared. Since AWP found her, not one friend has come out and said anything. The mother never even met with AWP. Don't you find that bizarre? They're here to search for her daughter and she never met with them? That's pretty weird. Next thing, tow truck driver guy. Everyone's already like, oh, he's not. Well, actually, I did a poll on my thing. 80% said he was legit. 20% uh, said he was not legit. So, I mean, again, everybody has their own opinions. If he is not legit, then I, I don't see what he would have to gain from this because he said the company that he worked for, he said he had, a vi he had it all on video. That brings me to my next thing. If he does have it all on video, why hasn't any arrests been made? Why hasn't anything happened? You guys tell me. Because it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand it. One more thing I wanted to add real quick. From all the, from all the stuff that we know, we know this was no accident. So please, not one more person leave a comment like that in the, in, in the video. This was no accident. Use your head, think about it, and you can see that for yourself. If you think this was an accident, you are seriously in denial. Everyone, all of these YouTubers that are making money off this and that are, um, you know, it's funny because Upchurch wants to run around talking about, oh, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. This is fake. It's all about the GoFundMe money. How much money have you made off this case, Ryan? How much? How many followers have you gained off this case, Ryan? How many subscribers have you picked up? How, many, how much money have you made off of this case? Walking around acting like an idiot. I'm just so sick of it. You're turning this into a clown show, and it's not funny. If that was my daughter that was missing, and you were out here running your mouth like this, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't be not anymore. I can tell you that. I mean, this is just so insane. It's so insane that this is what is going on. We are supposed to be finding who is responsible for putting that girl and her car in the lake. That is it. Everything is turning into a clown show. I am so fucking sick of it. Everybody has a conspiracy about everything. And it's like, 
Okay, enough is enough. Let's get this done. Let's bring in these people. Why aren't they being brought in? Why? I, I don't understand. Why is Jagger out walking around and not being interviewed? Why is Sammy not in a goddamn interrogation room right now? Why aren't we talking to Mags and Kate? They should be in an interrogation room too. This whole thing is suspect. And I'm so sick of everybody talking about, oh, the drugs, the drugs, the drugs. We don't know that there was any drugs involved. We do not know that. Everybody wants wrong talking about like it's fact. The only person that said anything about drugs was Sammy. Oh, there was really bad drugs at the party. And Mags, as soon as I got out of the car, they were forcing me to take bong ribs. Stop. You sound stupid. Like you don't take bong ribs all day long, look at you. I'm just saying. In my opinion, people don't need to get mad at me. But for God's sakes, let's get to the point Let's start bringing these friends in because we all know they know what happened. We all know Sammy with her slick ass attitude, like, she, like she says in her interview with Dream Chaser. I'll I'll grant you that sometimes there are fight people do fight about who won, but not this time because she knew, she knew that she had it in the bag. She knew that she beat her ass that night, and she knew what else happened to her. That's why she could say it like that. I can't take one more person defending these people. If they didn't act suspicious and act the way that they do, nobody would be questioning them. But because they are all liars and they have all come out and acted like freaking idiots, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to say something. People need to be saying something. This is ridiculous. Let's stop worrying about hurting people's feelings because nobody is worried, was worried about Kylie's feelings. Not one person. And if this is all about money, like I believe 100% that this is real, this happened, this girl was real. But if this was about money and her, and her family and her friends and the cops and everybody is benefiting off of it, then every single one of those people need to be arrested. And Sammy, in my opinion, said she hosted the party, said she threw the party. She should already be behind bars because Kylie was 16. She hosted the party that supposedly served alcohol and drugs, right? Now, this is why I say this about the drugs. Because wouldn't she already be under arrest for endangering the welfare of a child or... Um, you know, something along those lines, if there were drugs at the party. Again, in my opinion, there was no party. I think that the sanctuary is where these rich kids who are bored as fuck formed their own little fight club, and they would go there, and they would fight. So stupid, right? But, hey, when you're bored and you got a lot of money and you ain't got shit to do... You, you find stuff to do. Um, secondly, I mean, I don't even know. Fifthly, sixthly, seventhly. If all of these parents of the, if, so these kids that were there, we know there was some kids there. We don't know what happened there. We don't know anything. Everything we know came from Sammy. Okay. And now tow truck guy. But anyway. All of the, everyone's like, oh, parent, these kids aren't talking because their parents told them not to. Then arrest the damn parents because that's interfering in an investigation. This is all bullshit. Let's start arresting people. Let's start bringing the hammer down. And let's find out who is responsible for this girl's death. I mean, isn't that what we're all supposed to be out here trying to do? Bring justice for Kylie? not follow Ryan on his fucking clown show. It's just, I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous. It makes me mad. It makes me sick. Stick, the guy needs to stick to his music and leave, and leave all this shit alone because he's doing nothing but making it worse out here for people. Oh, and whoever edited that video, that uh, underwater video and made it so you could see her, I didn't watch it because I don't need that shit in my head. But anybody, whoever did that, you're a piece of crap. Because 
why would you want to see a dead 16 year old girl's body why would you want others to see that that's that's sick you 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 have problems so i'm just sick of everybody involved in this case i can't deal with it anymore it's just lies after lies after lies and i just i can't take it so now that i'm done with my rant um uh, can we can we just get down to business and find out who killed this girl and why and what happened and how she got there? Because this is all just this is so sickening to me. If this was my daughter and this turned into this kind of clown show, I would be so pissed. I'd be so pissed and I'd be on a mission to make sure that every single person around that was saying shit and running their mouth was going to pay for it. So I want to get this video out there. Listen. Everyone, like, I had a lot of comments that were like, oh, you can't say the things you say. You can't, you know, go after people like this. Really? Why? Nobody else seems to be. That's all I'm saying. I am who I am. And if you don't like this video, and you can tell what the video is from the title, then don't click on it. That's all. So, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, please share this video. Let's get this out there. Let's stop all this bullshit and just get down to getting justice for Kylie because that's what this whole thing is supposed to be about. So please, stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe, and, and keep asking questions because without that, we're never going to get the answers. I'll see you next time.